What's up, my pilots? Angry Pancho here, and we are back playing Conker's Bad Fur Day. I have gone through the underwater obstacle course off screen to spare you the pain. Mm. And now we return to the toll. What is it with this game? You have to pay the toll. There you go. Thousand dollars. God, we really needed that. We gotta pair that barrel later. Hey, I'm not finished yet. We're looking for a squimmo. And I think, by the description given to me, that you are a squirrel. I am not a squirrel. Yes, you are. You fit the description perfectly. Oh, really? And, uh, could you describe this description to me? Well, short, red fur, a big butchy tail... Oh, that's an elephant! Seriously? You're a squirrel, all right. And you're coming with me. This guy's crazy. Look, I tell you I'm not a squirrel. Get your hands off me. Well, what are you, then? I'm an elephant. Squirrels aren't short and furry. They're big and gray. What? Yeah, that's the twitchy noses. They don't have them? <laughs> no. They're long and snouty. They also have flappy ears. Are you sure? <laughs> Guess I'm sure. <laughs> See ya. Told ya. Oh. I mean, don't take it from me. Take it from Conker. Oh. But man, now we're short a thousand bucks. Like a good I no, agree man. with that. Well, uh, it's alright. It's alright. That's not a squirrel. He's an elephant. An elephant. You stupid twat. Oh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> oh, you want some green stuff? Cha-ching. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, and we were able to pass the toll. I guess you, you do have to have the amount of money to get past, and then, uh, whoa, there's some baby T-Rexes running around up here? That's interesting. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Watch out. Hey, hey, there's some money over here. I hear it. Where is that money? I don't remember offhand. Hmm. Well, let's go in here, shall we? Ah, yes, and it brings us out. Oh, dude. Not cool. It brings you out on a higher level of the central pyramid area that we're on here. And you're gonna wanna be moving pretty quickly around this soon. Run around to the other door. And that will allow you to get on top. And there should be some... Ah, there's the money. Come here, you. Hey, 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 get over here. Cha-ching! Hey, where the f*** you been, you ginger bastard? <gasps> cool. I can put it for the rest of my dead presidents. <laughs> That reminds me of that punk rock band from the 80s, the Dead Kennedys. Okay, so if you look around in this zone, you see that there's an area behind us where you can, there's, a, there's a path you can take over there. But the, the elevator... Well, dang, if I could show you. Okay. The elevator is currently at the top. See it right there? And we would need it to be down there if we wanted to use that path. And so the... I got kind of stuck here at first, I gotta admit. And I cut to looking at the statue because it seemed to have more detail in it than the rest of the area. And when you come on top of it, Conquer gets a bright idea. Oh, that old anvil trick. <laughs> it closes the guy's mouth temporarily, too, which I think is kind of funny. You do it again. And now the statue is shorter! Okay, I had to sneeze, and by the time I was done, Conquer had started juggling. I've never seen him juggle before. That's kind of cool. He's actually pretty good at that. Anyway, a third time, I think, completes the process. And we are, in a very interesting manner, allowed access to a new area. <laughs> I love these little... I love the characters in this next area, it's so funny. <laughs> Wimp. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason that, that collapsing and opening up, with, I guess it's the movement of the mouth, it reminds me of the Dodongo from Ocarina of Time. The big Dodongo head in Dodongo's cavern, I don't know. Anyway, so you see there's a blocked off area here. And these just cave dudes. They don't seem 
particularly friendly with those clubs and pelts that they're wearing, so I'm gonna kind of ignore them for now. What's going on over here? Rock solid. What the heck is this? Does that guy have a tie on? What are these guys, first of all? They look like big gargoyles of some kind? Jeez, they're all coming after me. What the hell? Let me in, man. He said, we don't need your type. You couldn't hear him. No sneakers. No sneakers. <laughs> oh, it's my shoes, huh? Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Hey, can I mind if I borrow your rock? Get away from me, dude! Friggin'. Did he just barf? Okay, they're drunk. I see. They must have got kicked out. I, I guess that's some sort of... S S Stone Man Dance Club? I don't know. Rock solid. It sounds like a discotheque. I don't know. Anyway, I'll just roll this ball over here. This is the next thing. Get away from me, you stoga! Can it, will it be able to break through this? I don't know. Just bump into it, huh? What am I supposed to do with that? Can I take, can I take this over? I'm not even sure if I can, actually. Hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, maybe we need to do something else first. What am I forgetting? Ah, the chocolate up here. Right. They would put chocolate here. I think this is actually how you get out of the area, too. You can jump. Dude, get up there. Conquer! You jump from here. You can jump out of the area. And... Ah, there we go. Yeah, it acts as a, a switch somehow, closing the thing's mouth. Even though it just fell through the ceiling, you wouldn't think it would have... It would, you, know, you wouldn't think it would be attached to anything down there. So now normally you'd feel like this would be stuck in the corner, but, you know... Even, 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 if, you, uh, even if I couldn't have gotten behind it, the way that the controls work for ball pushing in this game is really easy. And it's very forgiving, so... You're really just pushing the direction that you want the ball to move, that's all you have to remember. And it basically does all the hard work for you. But we're gonna roll it over here to this downward slope where these guys are waiting. I love these little scenes. <laughs> One of many opportunities to make fun of movies. Right in the lava! So that's four of those cavemen we've killed so far? And all relatively unintentionally. I guess you could say that those two that we ran down with the boulder were intentional, but... What the heck was that in front of me? Oh! Uh -huh. Whoa! <laughs> I love this area. Hey, Maestro! Don't you think that's a little bit too dramatic? Can you give me something with a bit more of a beat? <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the fourth wall. Who needs it? This game is funnier without it. Seriously. And I gotta say, the music in this series is actually pretty good. I'm gonna shut up for a little bit just so you guys can listen to it the next time the chorus comes around. But uh, you can kind of hear the little boom, 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 boom drums going on in the background. Right now, the big head up there is this. Is, oh, this is why it reminds me of the Dongo's Caverns because of this head in here. Because you know, spoilers. Eventually, this mouth bit opens. So you see, these guys are kind of worshiping it here. We can't really do much with this right now, I think. You hear the music? I like it. I think it's, it really does have a good beat, actually. How do you fire this thing? Okay, I gotta get my controls right. Anyway, but there are two switches on the walls up here. And one lifts up this stone platform. And if you stop and look, over here on it, there's a big pair of footprints. Not sure how those got there, but whatever. If you look on the other side of the room, there's another switch that looks like an explosion, or an impact, I suppose. Hit that thing. Thank you. And... splat! Okay, uh, not really sure what we can do with that right now. These guys don't really seem eager to chime up, jump up there, and we don't really have anything to gain from killing them in the first place, so... We'll move on for now. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the music for this area is, is a little bit repetitive, because it's it does have a good beat, and it's... It's just one of the many elements of this game that I really like. Oh, thank you very much. The doors are opening for us. Man, can you believe it? That the technology these cavemen have? Automatic doors like that? 
Now here's another part where I got stumped for an extended period. And it's because you think what you're supposed to do, and you say, well, this seems really obvious. But how do, how do, you, how do you do it? I don't know. Uh, at this point, I, I got here and I was like, okay, obviously, I, this is, I, I had a flashback to those Banjo-Kazooie LPs, and I was like, okay, obviously, I need to get on top of the egg so I can hatch it. But there's no way to get up there with your tail jumping and all kinds of stuff like that. And I got to the point where I was trying to jump onto these little platforms around the edge here. You see the ring that's the rings of spikes that are kind of coming up? They all have flat tops, and that made me believe that I could climb on them. But alas, that is not the case. The first time I went through this game, I did not do the the Terminator Hay boss the first time, which meant I didn't meet the first one of these guys. And in order to get out of that area, you have to figure out that these guys will throw you if you stand on top of there, what they're trying to read. <laughs> and you can use that to your advantage again here. So I was totally stumped when I got to this part. I ran around this level forever trying to get into that dance club. Anyway, you get up here and... Conquer is apparently part platypus because he's able to hatch eggs. No idea. <laughs> Sometime later. I think it's working, Conquer. Here it comes. Whatever it is. Hopefully it's friendly. This could end very badly for us. A baby oh. dinosaur. <laughs> I so badly like, want to cut in that clip from Jurassic Park now. <laughs> this is so inappropriate, but it's just. <laughs> and voila, a baby dinosaur. I love that line. The way that guy says "baby dinosaur." Hello there, mommy. Oh god, he's imprinted on us. That's great. Right, I'm your mummy. Come on, follow me. Oh, good <laughs> Conker just rolls with it. It's like, yep, I'm your mom. Follow me. This uh, guy has a nice. Yeah. He's fun to have around. I'll put it that way. So we want to go the other direction down the path. Because the way we came is now closed. They're sort of one way doors. Again, the technology is amazing. Hey, come on. Come on, Skippy. Come on, wait, wait. I, 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 uh, I don't have that clip, so I don't have, I don't know any way to cut it in. But it's, it's just, I can't get it out of my head now that I thought of it. <laughs> you guys like Jurassic Park? I mean, I mean, just the first movie. Yeah, the, the second one and the third one were, were all right. They were kind of action flicks. The first one almost had a sci-fi feeling to it. The second ones and third, and the second and third ones were action movies essentially. So I really like the first one the best. No, no, it's just one of those many trilogies that I think the first one was the best in. The Matrix, Indiana Jones, uh, Jurassic Park, Lord of the Rings, uh, The Hobbit was the best, and technically that was the first, so, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, in, the f in, that, in that movie, I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Ugh. But yeah, I really enjoyed Jurassic Park. And you know that the novel actually was not very similar to the movie. That, like, a lot of the characters... Like, they, they didn't even kill the same people in the movie as died in the novel. <laughs> it doesn't make... They took a lot of liberties with it. And so I find it kind of strange. The reason that they're saying that the... Come on. Come on, Skippy. The reason that they're saying the fourth Jurassic Park movie will never come out... Can, he, can you fit through this door? I think he can. Come on. Is because Michael Crichton died in 2008. And so he, there's no fourth novel written. So there's nothing, there's nothing to go on. And he's not even there to help them with the screenplays and stuff the scripts, but the second and third movies weren't even close to the second and third books, so I don't know. I think it's kind of one of those Hollywood excuses. Anyway, now that we have Skippy with us... Come on! Oh, dude! Seriously? Wow. That was nasty. I had a fireball come down from one of those pits. I guess you don't want to stand still for too long in this area. It looks like next to the lava pits. Actually, that seems kind of like a good idea. Don't hang around all the pits for too long. Yeah, I could stand by that as, as general advice for life, actually. Come on, Skippy. Yeah, normally I'd, try to, I'd, I'd actually end the video before this next part, but I'm going to make a little bit of a longer one since we're not going to be uploading any Mario tonight. Oh, that LP is finished. That was a fun one, i got to say. Blind LPs are pretty good. I think I'm gonna actually going to do... Oh, he's going to want to eat the guys. Now, go on, Skippy. I <laughs> like the giant safety pin on his diaper. It's hilarious. Uh, the fact that he even has a diaper on, that's just... 
how do they come up with this stuff? It's, it's like, oh, how are we going to indicate that it's a baby dinosaur? The fact that it hatched isn't good enough. We have to... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. You might have noticed that those footprints up there are roughly Skippy-sized footprints. So, we're going to want to put his feet up there. And he'll activate the next area for us. What a helpful guy. Of course, we have to pick it up, pick the little thing up first so you can actually get up here. It's not going to work with the lever already down. Come on, Skippy. Come up here. Come on. Good boy. There you go. <laughs> here, Conker. He says, stay there for just one second. <laughs> oh, Skippy. Skippy, no. You go back up. No, oh, he's eating more of the guys. Yeah, they'll, they'll they'll keep coming out, actually. They'll spawn infinitely. You see another one just ran out from nowhere over there? Skippy, come on. Skippy. Come on, back up here. Here, boy. Who's a baby dinosaur? Who's a baby dinosaur? You are. Yes, you are. Good boy, Skippy. <laughs> here, come over here. Stay there for one second. Come over here. And I think you know what's coming next. Hit the switch, Conker. He's so cute. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> there are no limits to what this game can do. Epic! Rolling out the red carpet for us and everything. Wait, what the hell were you doing inside there? And what the heck is on that tongue? <laughs> it reminds me of the monks from Monty Python. <laughs> yeah, so will, will you launch me into the air? Is that helpful for us? I believe it is! It allows us to get on top of the head! Where's that money? I'm gonna get that before the video ends. Is this the front? Yeah, where's the money? Is it further back? I don't remember exactly. He's up here somewhere. Ah, there he is! Cha-ching! Yeah, yeah, we've heard it before. And, uh, wait a minute, which way? Yes, yeah, back this way. There's a one up on the wall back here. How nice. I think that's enough for this episode, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day when we are going to head into the head. Thanks for watching. Alright, quit dancing and end the video.